quartz conducts energy through stones, like blood carries oxygen through the body. Talking to stones and listening to quartz at the pyramids of Bulgaria. Subscribe below to learn more about the cosmic origins of humanity. Quartz is present at most megalithic sites in Bulgaria. It is found in the cement mix that makes up the granite stone. In Rozovets, for example, we see the result of erosion as the megaliths have been turned into a gravel of quartz granules. The concentration of quartz varies from site to site, as does the colour of the granite, which varies from black to grey to yellow and pink. At the double pyramid of Banya, the base of the edifice is composed of grey granite with a high density of quartz, whilst in Hisaria nearby we find more pink quartz. Quartz is also inlaid in granite megaliths. Parallel veins of quartz are layered in granite like a stone sandwich. And at many sites, like the pyramid of Striama, Gradishti, Kribul and Rozovets, there is a grid of quartz lines that underpins the entire structure. Quartz is known to conduct energy. It plays a fundamental role at all levels of the megalithic network in Bulgaria. Each stone made from granite, from the smallest boulder to the largest megalith, contains quartz. The stones talk to us. They tell us that horizontally, quartz distributes energy across the land. The grids of quartz lines that underpin pyramids energize the entire structure and the alignments of clusters of megaliths, like in Rozovets, span several kilometers to distribute energy across the entire site. And, on an even larger scale, we see latitudinal bands of megalithic sites across the Bulgarian mountains that stretch for hundreds of kilometers. Horizontally, Quartz distributes energy across the entire country. And maybe the Bulgarian pyramid network is just one part of a greater global network that energizes planet Earth. Vertically, the pyramids made from quartz granite act as nodes in the network. They channel energy between Earth's core below and the universe above. The flow goes both ways. The ancient Egyptians tried to reproduce this effect with the obelisks at Heliopolis. Quartz plays an elemental role in the flow of energy both horizontally and vertically. In Kribul, at the summit of a pyramidal formation, there is a rock face that dates back to the Lemurian Epoch. On top of this promontory, there is an oval, head-shaped megalith that sits at the center of at least four veins of quartz. It is also inlaid with quartz. People from all over Bulgaria come to this location to seek help for ill health by practicing ancient rituals. They pass through the stones and leave clothes attached to the trees, believing in the regenerative powers of the area. Quartz is purposefully used at the pyramids and megaliths of Bulgaria. Both Lemurian and early Atlantean civilizations understood its power. 
Rudolf Steiner enlightens us with his reading of the Akasha Chronicle in the series of lectures Cosmic Memory, Prehistory of Earth and Man. He explains how the pyramid builders understood quartz, its properties and how to use it. The Lemurian understood plants and animals in their inner action and life. He even understood the physical and chemical forces of lifeless objects in the same way. The Lemurian, like the Atlantean at the later epoch, could feel the power of quartz. He knew how to harness it to serve his purpose. The intention of the pyramid builders was to connect earth and man to the sun and cosmos. Megaliths, like plants, point up to reach for the sun. They remind us of sunflowers. Many megaliths are even inclined backwards as if to absorb the sun, and pyramids are aligned towards the sun. We have to emphasize that the Lemurians and Atlanteans that built the pyramids and megalithic sites we still see today did not plan their construction. They did not have the capacity for conceptual thought. They had not developed language as we know it. Their knowledge was intuitive. They felt the spirit of matter. They had an atavistic clairvoyance that connected them to the universe and guided them in their endeavours. A Lemurian had tools, erected buildings. This he owed not to his own powers of conception, but to a mental force in him which was instinctive. The buildings that Rudolf Steiner references are probably the pyramids we see today. The impulse for their construction came from above because the purpose was to cherish the pouring down of cosmic harmony like the rays of the sun. They looked into the creative workshop of nature they experienced a communion with the beings which built the world itself. One can call this communication an association with the gods. The pyramid builders knew how to use quartz instinctively and they used it to connect earth to the cosmic realm. At the macro level, Quartz is the element that creates the vertical connection between earth and sun. Plants, like humans, are designed in a similar way. The vascular and nervous system look like the branches of a tree. They have a larger stem in the centre and thinner branches at the extremities. The veins that carry blood in our body are like the veins in plants that carry chlorophyll, and the quartz veins in granite are just a petrified version that conducts energy through the stone. At the micro level, quartz as a key element in granite can be compared to hemoglobin, the red globules that carry oxygen through the body and the chlorophyll in the plants that transports water and nutrients to the leaves. And there is a reverse flow from the extremities to the core to absorb sunlight both in plants and humans. And trace elements of quartz in the form of silica are actually found in blood and chlorophyll. Plants, like humans, are attracted to the sun. They are pulled up physically. Humans, the pinnacle of creation, are also pulled up spiritually. The stones remind us of our mission on earth. 
it is enshrined in our constitution, whilst the echo of cosmic harmony reverberates deep within us. Rudolf Steiner supplements modern scientific research with spiritual scientific knowledge in his series of lectures From Limestone to Lucifer. He explains how stones are the current petrified state of what existed as plants during an earlier epoch when conditions on earth were very different from today. Air and water density were different, and matter was not as hard as we know it now. Human bodies, like stone, were more malleable. It is only progressively, from the Lemurian epoch onwards, that matter hardened to the rigid state we experience now. The vascular and nervous systems are the legacy of this ancient epoch of humanity, and so are the veins of quartz in the granite. Plants today are a reminder of an earlier stage of creation. And, in our shared memory across the globe, the quest for paradise lost lingers. The Garden of Eden, Xanadu, Janna, the lush green gardens of paradise in the Quranic tradition hark back to this early epoch of humanity when our bodies were plant-like. This quest is echoed in yoga practices that nurture the vegetal body. We are always looking back to this bygone epoch when we fully experienced our vegetal state and were free from the heaviness of our mineral body. Our hope now is to rise, like Jesus on the cross, from matter to spirit, from earth to sun. Quartz tells us about our cosmic origins and our destiny. It is a reminder of the earthly mission of humanity. If you liked this video, click on the like button below and subscribe to learn more about our cosmic origins through the discovery of the Bulgarian pyramids.